Welcome everybody, welcome back to Blaugrana Planet. The game just ended, guys, at Montjuic. Barca 4, Tottenham 2 with a strong comeback there at the end by the youngsters of Football Club Barcelona. Guys, to be honest, we had a very good start with Lewandowski's opener, but then it went slower and slower and slower. It became a very boring game. Tottenham actually scored two goals by this guy called by this guy called Skip I never heard of him and actually I read on Twitter that he scored uh, three goals in his life and 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 now he scored to win in the game, but a little bit surprising, but then the youngsters came in guys and recovered Football Club Barcelona, especially Lamin Yamal, Abde, Fermin Lopez, guys, we we got to see um um Gundogan distributing really well. Uh, I honestly think that the the players that came out in the first uh, in the first half uh, were was actually like probably the 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 team that was gonna start against Getafe on Sunday that we're playing against them. I think it's nine thirty, and and in fact I think we were a little bit asleep. Then the the subs came off, uh, the subs came on, and 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 things changed, right? Um, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I hope that the, um, this slow start serves us in order to to wake up and to to be more aggressive against Getafe. Of course, we cannot be dropping points in the first game of La Liga. I, I don't think it's the it's the best way to start. Every point counts, guys. At the end of the of the season, we gotta start thinking uh, that every point counts. And uh, we need to go all in, guys. We need to go all in. I'm really, really happy, really, really excited about Lamin Yamal, guys. Lamin Yamal could be, honestly, the game changer of the season. 16 years old. He just turned 16. What he did there is insane, guys. Insane. By the way, I wish, I wish I had went, uh, I had gone to to Montjuic. Unfortunately, I had some family family issues, and um, and I cannot go. But, but. I saw it, guys, and I saw it with all of you guys because this is Blaugrana Planet. This is your channel, and that's why I'm here commenting. I couldn't, I couldn't um, not do it. In fact, I got people waiting uh, for me to go uh, to dinner with them. But anyways, I'm here recording this video because I felt I had to do it, guys. After the excitement, and Ansu Fati, guys, let me know. Let me tell you, Ansu Fati, Ansu Fati. I feel like it could be the season of Ansu Fati. I really hope he stops getting scared of getting injured because the goal he scored right there, I think that's going to give him some hopes. I think that Ansu Fati could be uh, critical for this season. Remember, we cannot we cannot only rely on Lewandowski. If Lewandowski gets injured, what do we do? And 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 man, again, forget about Usman Dembélé having Abde, having Lamine Yamal, and 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 especially. Uh, the fact that we have a strong midfield now and and the defense got me a little worried we got a, we got we were a little asleep right there and just thinking uh, about the fact that Kunde and um, Araujo and Eddie Garcia were the only center backs available and careful because Araujo um, was subbed out in the minute 30 with a little bit of um, not injury because apparently uh, they are saying that is he's not injured but yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't sound too good. Apparently, it was just precaution, but I knock on wood and I hope that it's not, not serious, huh? nothing serious, and he can be available. And because Araujo is, is going to be certainly a, a player to watch uh, throughout the years, and, and he's going to be critical for Football Club Barcelona, now one of the captains. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. So, um, I'm a little skeptical about uh, the beginning, the first half, but the, the end of the second half, certainly with the youngsters. And let me tell you one thing, uh, Tottenham was very aggressive. They were doing a lot of fouls. Uh, Tottenham was pressing a lot. We could tell that they really wanted it, but at the end, they couldn't get it, right? They couldn't get it. So um, good, good that uh, the youngsters saved the club, um, saved the, the exhibition because it's an exhibition game. But the, the Trofeo Juan Gamper, you know, in fact, I was reading and, and we conceded in this, in this uh, trophy for the first time in 2019, it was a game against Arsenal. But anyways, anyways, good we won the game because at some point uh, it was literally minute 40 in the second half and we were down 2-1. So good we ended up uh, in, uh, in a 4-2 scenario, pocketing. Um, the exhibition title we cannot call it a title but anyways guys i hope that you enjoyed make sure to smash the like subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and now and as i always say visca el barça visca catalunya and see you in the next video vamos